What lies beneath Turkey's Van Lake? Mythical monsters, dinosaurs, giants, or even aliens? In 1994, a Turkish parliamentary commission opened an official investigation into what locals were referring to as a sea monster, possibly living in its waters. Could this creature be connected to powerful Lovecraftian type creatures, rumored to be living in and around the surrounding mountain range that a group of Russian scientists were commissioned to investigate 90 years earlier? For over millennia, the area in and around Van Lake has been witness to a rare but consistent number of strange paranormal disturbances, UFO sightings, jinn encounters, disappearances, and even deaths. Could the offspring of this ancient horror be sea monster that tradition says literally has the ability to destroy the world and is infecting the surrounding area? When we think of the term cosmic horror, our thoughts typically picture the demonic type alien entities that populate the pages of the books of H.P. Lovecraft. These works of obvious fiction that features a vast cold and uncaring universe filled with deities who care not for humans except to occasionally consume them. Yet, we never think of these creatures in regard to Turkish Armenian folklore, but maybe we should, as it is a fantasy that may have an element of truth. In the early 1990s, a string of sightings from the shores of Turkey's Van Lake grabbed the world's attention, from local news stations to CNN International. From 1993, the first of a cluster of sightings of an alleged sea monster began occurring across the area. It would appear to the world that Lake Van had its very own Loch Ness monster. The difference being, that this creature had not been only captured on camera several times, but evidence for its existence stretches back decades and even hundreds of years. One of the most yet tragic encounters with this creature happened a little over 100 years ago. According to Saadat News, on the 29th of April of 1889, three men encountered a strange creature in the waters that resulted in the disappearance and likely death of one of them. In order to reach a neighboring town 160 kilometers away, the three had to pass through Ahlat, a village that sits on the edge of Lake Van. It would later be reported in the media that after the three men had split up while walking along its shores, one would be attacked by a long tentacle creature that had firmly attached itself to his foot and had slowly began pulling him into the water. The creature, which was described as incredibly long but with no visible head or tail, had completely overpowered the man despite his best efforts to free himself. After a few minutes of struggle, his two companions explained to the police that upon hearing his shouts, they had rushed to his rescue, only to see that the creature had now completely wrapped itself around the entire lower half of his leg, in a grip so tight that he began screaming in intense pain. The struggle between the three men and the creature had gone on for a long while. At first, they used their bare hands to try and pry the tentacle off his leg. They then used knives and other sharp objects, but all to no effect, as its skin seemed impenetrable. So finally, out of desperation, they used fire, even though they were severely burning their friend in the process. In a brief moment of victory, as the flame touched the creature, it let out a high-pitched sound and immediately jumped 80 feet into the air with great force, but unfortunately, with the man still attached. When it landed further in the water, and no longer having the resistance of the three challenging it, it dragged its victim below the waves with ease, never to be seen again. When this harrowing accident made its way into the local media, it was met with both disbelief and fear from Lake Van's surrounding towns and villages. Yet, 
Although a man had clearly lost his life, leaving two others traumatized, skeptics understandably downplayed the incident as being overly fantastical and very likely exaggerated. However, the Ottoman government of that time took their story seriously enough to dispatch an official scientific survey team to investigate the area, but unfortunately without success. Did the three men really encounter a sea monster? Or did they mistake it for something more natural? Or even primordially supernatural? In the decades since this tragic event occurred, local experts have reluctantly conceded to the prospect that even though no sea monster as described by the men likely exists, there still may be some kind of oversized creature present in the area simply due to the number of persistent sightings that have occurred over the decades. However, in the mid-1990s, everything changed, as what was once considered a rumor became a verifiable fact. Located just south of Mount Ararat in eastern Turkey, the fresh waters of Lake Van sits approximately one mile above sea level and is one of the most unique bodies of water found on Earth today. With a history stepped in Armenian myth and folklore, in modern times, the attack on the three men in Ahlat has almost become an urban legend and had largely been forgotten until 1993, when an increasing amount of sightings of something big and not native to the area began spreading across the various towns and villages situated on the lake. On November 2nd of 1995, the UK's Daily Telegraph printed an article saying that the Turkish provincial deputy governor claimed to have seen a sea monster. According to the article, the sighting was enough to launch a full-scale search for the beast, openly backed and funded by the government. Even though in recent years, international biologists have called the investigation a publicity stunt to boost tourism in that area. According to the article, Turkish authorities earnestly sent investigators to the lake to search for what other witnesses had described as having the appearance of a dinosaur. Could this be the same animal responsible for the attack on the three men nearly a hundred years earlier? The only other documented evidence of a creature matching the description of a sea monster in the area prior to the attack comes via an ancient engraving discovered in a small Armenian church on one of the lake's four islands. Named the Akdamar Church, which was built in 915 Anno Domini, its outer walls are covered with stone carving pictures. In one picture, a sea monster-like creature can be clearly seen underneath a ship. Although it is widely accepted to be a biblical reference, many believe that this carving is actually of Lake Van's monster itself. If this is the case, it means that this creature has been in the area for at least a thousand years. Apart from sea monsters, the surrounding area of Lake Van has been subject to a range of other supernatural and scientific anomalies. In the 2000s and 2010s, a number of poor families in the area had been plagued by a poltergeist attacks that had not only driven them from their homes, but even forced local authorities to become involved due to the media frenzy that ensued. There have also been several alleged UFO sightings around the lake itself. In 2013, a reporter named Murat Surku said he was walking around its shore when he noticed an object in the air that kept on altering its shape in an impossible manner. He took several pictures until it disappeared from sight. A year later, according to Kanziatep News, a Mr. Ahmed Baigomos said that he captured an image of a glowing orb that was not initially visible to the naked eye when he took the picture. He also believes this orb could be alien in origin. Why would aliens be interested in the area? And how could they be connected to a sea monster? Well, Clues can perhaps be found in Armenian apocryphal texts. In addition to the lake being the theorized location of the Garden of Eden, some Christian historians and theologians also believe that an army of fallen angels had moved to the area near the beginning of time in order to settle and procreate with human women. These women would eventually give birth to creatures called the Nephilim, 
giant anomalous entities some fringe academics believe could actually be alien in origin and not religious. They believe that evidence of their remains may still be scattered around Turkey and the neighboring Levant and that the biblical, Islamic and even pagan tales of giants of monsters in and around the Middle East are only myths born out of real alien and human contact hundreds and thousands of years ago. The Loch Ness Monster, Turkish Sky, a fabled monster from the depths apparently captured on video. A swift swimming beastie estimated to be 15 meters long. A breakthrough in understanding what this creature could be occurred in 1997, a few years after authorities had officially opened an investigation into this creature's existence. Here, CNN had obtained footage shot by the then 26-year-old Fan University teaching assistant Unal Kozak. This controversial video that reportedly shows the creature has continued to baffle biologists and cryptozoologists nearly two decades later. While academics at Ataturk University state that there is nothing that even remotely resembles the creature seen in this film that is capable of living in the area. Skeptics say that maybe what is seen here is only a submerged elephant, while other videos and sightings over the years could be of a large seafaring mammal such as a whale that has found itself lost in the lake. How whales keep on finding their way into a largely isolated lake distant from any ocean is a mystery for another YouTube channel to uncover, but for us, let's look into local folklore and the discovery German scientists made in the area during the early 19th century. Armenian historians speak of creatures known as Vishaps, who are said to have lived in the lake millions of years ago. According to tradition, these creatures were water spirits, large, powerful, and very, very old. According to legend, Every so often, the god Vahan would plunge into Lake Van to kill any Vishap that had grown large enough to devour the world, therefore saving humanity from a horrific fate. These creatures were Lovecraftian in scale, and could even be considered as a member of the Old Ones, or Elder Gods as they appeared in the pages of H.P. Lovecraft's mythos. According to Lovecraft himself, the Old Ones were dead alien deities buried inside the earth or under the sea, that if awoken, would consume humans and potentially destroy the planet. It should be noted that it was shortly prior to the period of his writing, when word of the Vishaps began to circulate in both Middle Eastern and Western academic circles. In 1880, Sargas Mobayajan, an Armenian author, first wrote about the existence of the Vishaps as according to what is understood in local folklore. This was at a time where rumors to their actual physical presence still persisted among some of the region's residents. Then, in 1909, a huge discovery was made. After the Russian linguist and historian Nicholas Yakovlevich Mar and his colleague Yakov Smirnov were excavating an unrelated site in the area. They heard these persistent rumors of Vishaps roaming the mountains. Consequently, they organized an expedition to confirm the existence and whether they have any scientific significance. Fortunately, what he found over the next two years right across the Armenian plateau were not actual sea monsters, but stone representation of them called Vishapakars. In English, the Armenian name Vishapakar is often translated as water serpent. How old these statues are had been difficult to verify, but in 1963, one was confirmed to have dated back to a millennium before Christ. Whether we are talking about myth or historical reality obscured by myth, it is the Turkish Tourism Board that have ultimately benefited from this horror. In the 20 plus years since modern interest in the Lake Van monster began, a small tourism industry has sprung up in the area similar to Scotland's Loch Ness monster solely based upon Unal Kozak's famous videos from the early 90s. However, not many people, including the international media organizations such as CNN and National Geographic, are even aware nor care about the older pagan Lovecraftian-styled mythology of the lake and surrounding region. Today, with the use of modern technology since the late 90s, contemporary efforts have been made to solve the mystery of Lake Van 
During the mid-2000s, researchers from a local Turkish university set out to get evidence for the existence of any sea monster in this district, but instead stumbled upon a 3,000-year-old castle beneath it. And bizarrely enough, a sunken Russian ship from 1948 that doesn't seem to have any official record of disappearing in the first place. However, till this day, still no new solid evidence for any sea monster have been found, at least not yet.